Hi, this is Stu from Discover Text with a quick overview to using the duplicate and near duplicate tools with bulk downloads from the Federal Docket Management System. This sample data set is available to anyone with an account on Discover Text. Once you've loaded the sample data set as a project, you can go in and view that archive. Uh, and in this case, the archive came to us as 11,524 documents of a variety of types. If you go into that archive, you get an overview of the contents of the archive, and you've got an option in the exact duplicates box to generate exact duplicates. And so I'm just going to click on that. It's going to ask me for a confirmation. And it's going to go to work. And you'll get a message up here saying that it's in progress and when it's done you'll get a notification up here and if you're not familiar with the notification system I'll just give you a briefing on that it's a little bit ugly right now but we're doing a big overhaul and the notification system is a key part of a peer-based analytic network so pretty much when anything happens that um, you need a notification on you'll receive it in this form and you can acknowledge your notifications and they go away. Sometimes what you get are requests for peers or uh, requests to code data sets. Now if I just switch to another project where I've already done, because it does take a little while to deduplicate 11,000 documents, this is the other NOAA sample that you can play with on the system, uh, original data set one, and if I go in and, and look at this one, started with 6,000 uh, 295 documents. I've already run the deduplication tool over it and what I've been left with is 349 documents. Now what that means is the system has looked at all the documents in the collection and compared them and in the cases where the only variation is in who sent it or where they sent it from or some other uh, salutation or greeting or ending of then we call that a duplicate and in this case we're talking about a very large percentage uh, of the archive were exact duplicates now a related feature in discover text is the ability to cluster comments uh, after you've removed the duplicates that are near duplicates and I'll just show you that right now in this window it's called the generate near duplicate clustering link or button and on this page you get an estimate of how long it will take to do the near duplicate uh, clustering as well as the ability to set the threshold for the clustering uh, yourself. Now once you start this process uh, it'll take a little while uh, as with the deduplication for the sifter backend engine to do the clustering but when it's done you'll get a notification. The threshold is something you just might want to experiment with it doesn't change the overall number of documents to be reviewed, just uh, the groupings that they show up in. So I'm going to perform the clustering in this case at 75%. And it gives me a message that it's in progress. And again, a notification will show up up here when that's done. One other thing that uh, might be of interest at this point is the Tag Cloud tool. So we do have this very rudimentary Tag Cloud tool that if you click on this link, uh, the system is going to uh, look at the documents and generate a Tag Cloud, which is a representation of some of the most frequently occurring words that are not stop words, like if, and, or, but. So words we think have meaning. Over time, the Tag Cloud tool will get much more interesting uh, and dynamic and responsive to users and their preferences. For now, it's just there. This was the original um, duplicate mapping that was created at the start of this video. So let's go back into uh, that data set and we'll go view the archives. Remember 11,000 documents to start. Uh, now the exact duplicates have been removed. There are 498 documents left. Now if I wanted I could just send these documents uh, straight to a, a bucket, which is a sort of a, a folder, 
uh, or I could create a codable data set out of them. Or, as with the other example, I could generate uh, a near duplicate clustering. And if I go back to that project, and I go to view that archive, 6,295 to begin with, 349 before, and now seven clusters at the 75% threshold setting. And those clusters can be uh, renamed, uh, converted to data sets, or you could stick them in buckets, or you could just go in and start looking at those clusters. So this is the 248 documents in the largest cluster. Uh, within this near duplicate clustering, I can browse them in the reader window. And the parts that have been modified, these are the near duplicates, will show up in yellow or blue. So the blue designates unique text and the yellow designates uh, edited text. And we think this system of near duplicate clustering duplicate removal, and the automatic identification of pieces of text that are unique dramatically improves the ability of federal rule writers to do their jobs. So that's it for now. Thanks.